Hey party people, this is Zeke from Replicate. I just wanted to show you a quick demo today of a new project that we built called Zoo. Zoo is a playground for testing out image models. Um, and these image models are running on Replicate and OpenAI and Stability's API. So when you go to zoo.replicate.dev, you get this uh, text input and you can enter text and hit go and it'll generate images for you from a bunch of different models at once. So we have Stable Diffusion 2.1, 1.5, Stable Diffusion XL. And you can see that like some of these are running on Replicate. 2.1 and 1.5 are running on Replicate. Stable Diffusion XL is still a closed source product that's only available through Stability's API. So we bring it in that way. Dolly, of course, is also a closed source model available through OpenAI. And the idea here is that this gives you an interesting way to just compare the performance of different models. So you can see actually, already we can see that Stable Diffusion XL and Stability's API is a little bit slow compared to Replicate and OpenAI in this case. You can also get a sense of what kind of outputs are generated by these different models. So today I wanted to show you how you could actually run this um, project yourself locally and choose your own models to compare. So I pulled up this model on Replicate called Emoji Diffusion. So it's a variant of Stable Diffusion that generates images that look something like emojis. Um, it's not the most amazing output necessarily. It gets kind of varied results, but sometimes you get something that looks kind of like an emoji. So I thought it'd be interesting to get Zoo running locally and add support for this model. So if you're on Zoo, you click code, this will take you to the GitHub repo where you can clone this repository and run it locally. So there are a few steps you need to, to be aware of. Um, the Zoo application uses Replicate's webhooks feature. So it actually has to, to expose itself at a publicly accessible URL in order to receive responses from Replicate's API and store them in the database. So the process of setting up Zoo is basically clone the repo, run npm install, um, run this ngrok command. And if you're not familiar with ngrok, it's pretty easy to set up. And then you run npm run dev to get the server running. So I've got that pulled down here locally in Visual Studio Code. Um, I can run npm run dev here, and then I'll start the server. It's running on localhost 3000. And then if I switch over to my terminal, I can see I've already got ngrok running and it is exposing my localhost 3000 at this publicly accessible URL. So if I open that up in the browser here, I can see I've got images of a badger from a variety of models here. So now what I want to do is add support for um, for this emoji model. So inside the code for Zoo, there's a file in the lib directory called models.js. And this is just a JSON file that contains the metadata for each model that we support. So I have kind of a canned object here that I generated ahead of time that has the metadata for this particular model. It's got the owner, the name of the model, the version number, which is a unique ID representing that version of the model on Replicate. And then the rest of this stuff is just kind of um, extra stuff to make it look fancy on the site. So there's a link here to GitHub and a link to Replicate, etc. So once we've saved that in the models module here, we should be able to just refresh this page. And oh, actually, it's already there. Look. So in the models column here, we now have something called emoji diffusion. So we can turn that on and let's try generating a badger again. We don't need an all caps badger. Let's do a lowercase badger. Let's see what we get. Okay, so stable diffusion 2.1 and 1.5 coming back really quickly. Oh, here, look, we've got some results. We have some, <laughs> some cute little 
cartoon badger is coming back from emoji diffusion. And so it works. That's pretty easy. Um, you could imagine doing all kinds of interesting things with this. Imagine that you are uh, publishing your own models to replicate and you've got two different versions of the model and you want to be able to compare them side by side. All you have to do is clone, zoom, add your model metadata to the models file, and you're off and running. I guess one thing I did forget to mention here is when you are setting up the project, you'll need to grab your replicate API token and make sure that it's available in your environment. So I think that is actually covered in this readme. If you go in here, there's an example environment file that tells you everything that you need to include. So if you wanna be able to run um, Dolly locally in the zoo, you need to grab your open AI key as well and stick it in here. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video and good luck generating your own badgers with lots of different models. Thanks. Bye.